What? Hey, it's me, Jimmy Fallon, and he, whoa, that was close, calm down, that's further away. It's me, Jimmy Fallon, from TarverAcademy.com, and it's time to learn some math. All right, today's question is brought to you by at Jared A. Clifton on Twitter. Thanks, Jared, for submitting a question. We are wanting to find the area of a rhombus. Okay, so here's a picture of the rhombus. Here are some extended lines, and I'm gonna let you try to work it. On your mark, set, go, pause it. And unpause, good job. All right, so whenever we look at this problem, first we need to know is the formula for area of a parallelogram. It's base times height. That's pretty much it, okay? Here's the trick, okay? For the base, you can use any side length, okay? We're gonna use two yards. So in place of B, I'm gonna put two. All right, now for height, you're thinking to yourself, well, they only gave me one other number, so that has to be the height. Yeah, well, that's a good guess, okay? When you're finding height, the rule is that it has to go from an angle that is not connected to that, so not that angle, not that angle, and it has to come down and hit it at a 90 degree angle. Now, for some parallelograms, that's gonna mean creating an imaginary line that is not inside of it, okay? If you had a square, you could, yeah, you could just use like one side of it, base and height, but this isn't a square. It's a rhombus, and it's a parallelogram, which rhombuses, rhombi are parallelograms, because um, that's the way it works. However, we're looking at this. We know that's one yard. It fits our 90 degree angle, and it hits our base at that 90 degree angle. So I can just replace that H with a one. All right, so we got two times one is two. Now, all the thing we gotta do now is make sure we get our um, unit of measure correct. So we use yards. Well, whenever we multiply that, that's gonna be two yards times one yard, which a yard times yard, just like if you did you know, two X times one X, that would be two X squared. Same thing goes for yards. So it's two yards squared equals our area. And you've got your answer. That's some math, ladies and gentlemen. I guess it's time to hit them with the outro. Boom! Hey, Tyler here. Thanks for watching that video. You can check me out at both of my YouTube channels. YouTube.com slash Tyler Tarver has vlogs, fun videos, humor videos, short films, and some math videos as well. TarverAcademy.com has hundreds of math videos, tech help videos, how to do well on tests, tips to be a baller teacher or student, pretty much anything life throws you in the education realm. You can also check me out on social media, at Tyler Tarver. I'm on Instagram with them Instagram pictures. You can check me out where I take pictures of stuff around me, my kids, or things that I like or think are neat. I'm also at Tyler Tarver on Snapchat, Twitter, link, not even part of LinkedIn, uh, Instagram, YouTube, we already talked about that, and then Facebook. You should check me out. You can also see pretty much all of my links and stuff that I do, like books or podcasts, at tylertarver.com. But most of all, thanks for watching this video, and I hope you have a baller day because you're the only 10 I see. <laughs> I'm sorry.